Hello my friends, it's Bruns here, welcome back to the channel and today we got some incredible info on Killer Clowns from Outer Space which is going to be released this year at some point. This is a deep dive video into the 5 playable classes of clowns that you can pick when you form your 3 player team which will hunt the citizens of Crescent Cove. So the devs have graced us with some new images and some new videos of the clowns. So what we know is that every clown is equipped with a ray gun that traps humans into cotton candy cocoons. And they also have a signature weapon, healing laughter, and the clown jump, which allows aliens to quickly leap to any point on the map that has already been discovered by the clowns. I love that mechanic because, as you guys know, I play a lot of Evil Dead. The one thing that you can't do is that you can't jump from one spot to the other, and um, some people have suggested there should be portals around the map so the demon can quickly teleport from one side of the map to another. So I love that the clowns can do this. They can just jump around the map there'll be no messing around walking or driving from one side of the map to the other now let's talk about each specific clown the first one we're talking about is spiky and spiky is the tracker so the tracker obviously it will track the humans the tracker is not the best at combat it's more of a support role really it will be able to shoot humans with a popcorn bazooka and these popcorn bits they will stick to the humans and they will reveal their position on the map to the other clowns his next ability is a balloon dog which will point towards the nearest survivor. So it seems really that survivors can't really hide from Spikey. Spikey drops the balloon, it will go straight for the nearest human. And if the humans try to run away, Spikey can jump into an invisible car. And believe it or not, if Spikey is chasing the humans, it will be able to vault over obstacles. I mean, who doesn't like a killer who vaults over obstacles? Well, survivors don't. But all demons and killers will enjoy this. <laughs> now look at Spikey, I love him. I love the hair, I love his popcorn bazooka. Let's just appreciate the hard work the devs are doing on this game. I really love it. Rudy is the next one and I mean these guys just look so funny. Look at his ears. Now Rudy again he can't fight very well but he makes up for his lack of fighting skill by being able to place traps. So his weapon is the jawbreaker mace which will explode popcorn on contact and that would allow the clowns to see the attacked humans and they'll be able to see them through the walls. So that popcorn sticking to humans is the mechanic of the clowns that will allow them to see the humans and track them down. Now in terms of his traps, we've got a baby clown, which is an ugly larvae looking buddy who springs up and latches to the victim, holding them down. So he'll be able to pin the humans. And then if you got another clown that is good at fighting, they'll be able to take that human down. Now the other trap he's got is the popcorn mine. Now the popcorn mine has a blast radius and whoever's caught in the blast radius will be marked with a popcorn and the other clowns will be able to see them through the walls. The same with the jawbreaker mace. Next one, Chubby. He is the tank one. Now look at this one. He looks really scary this one. I really like this one. Now he's a really slow one but he seems to be really tough as well. He's got an extendable jawbreaker and that is his only ranged weapon. It seems like it will be like a, a flail and you can also charge it so you will reach further and with more power. Now his two abilities abilities are Sticky Bash and Rage Rush. Now I think we've seen Sticky Bash on one of the previous trailers, which is when he hits the floor with his fist. That will summon a carpet of cotton candy that will trap anyone caught within it. Now his Rage Rush, it sounds like he will be charging into the enemies, he'll be able to go through any obstacles on the way, and he'll be also taking less damage from firearms. Now it says here Chubby can stick a straw into any cotton cocoon, slurp some energizing human intestines, and get a limited time movement speed buff. <laughs> this just looks absolutely gross and I can't wait to try it. Okay, fourth clown is Jumbo. Now Jumbo is the scout. Now he is the only clown that can use the clown jump to leap into unexplored territory. All the other ones, they can only jump into territory that has been explored already by the clown. This one, he can jump into a completely new area. But I wonder if he might get caught by some humans like that. So you might have to be careful with Jumbo. So he obviously is specializes in scouting, but he also specializes in close range combat and stealth. So he's got this hypnotic lure and apparently he'll be able to draw humans closer. And I think this is for the NPCs in the game, right? Because there will be some NPCs running around that you can kill and feed on. And the human players, they have to save those NPCs. So I think the hypnotic lure is for you to maybe use against the NPCs. But maybe you'll be able to use against the human players as well. Who knows? We're gonna have to wait and see. The other ability he has is a lackey swap. Now we all seen the trailer about the lackeys which are the AI minions that will be collecting the cotton candy 
uncanny cocoons. So that's what this ability does. It will swap Jumbo by one of the lackeys. Now I don't know if Jumbo goes invisible or what, but that will allow him to escape and evade the enemies that he'll be fighting against. I love the little hammer that he's holding behind him. Now the last one is Shorty. Shorty is the fighter. And as you can see here, his weapon is the boxing gloves. So obviously he's very good at fighting. He's very agile, but he cannot detect any humans. One of his abilities is absolutely hilarious. It's called Pizza Box. He'll be able to disguise himself as a pizza box. <laughs> So I'm guessing there'll be several pizza boxes scattered across the map and then he'll be able to transform himself into one of those. So anyone walking past those pizza box, be careful. Maybe just shoot them just in case he's shorty disguised. His second ability is called Speedy Tricycle. So he will jump into a tricycle and he'll be able to chase humans indoors with the tricycles. I guess this is gonna work like a dash towards the humans, but obviously you're gonna be on a tricycle. And it sounds like you'll be able to run over your enemies as well. So guys, this is looking really polished I am loving all the details that the devs are sharing with us. This game is sounding so promising. I can't wait for this game and I can't wait for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I know you guys are on the same boat with that. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the clown classes. Stay tuned for more updates on this game, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Evil Dead. Drop me a like if you watched the video until now. Drop me a comment also for the algorithm. Maybe consider subscribing and I will see you all next time.